Okay. Okay. So the new centre console for Mini all the time gives you feedback. So you have a light around the outside, which will tell you anything from how many rev uh, you're doing. So how many revolutions the engine is doing. The light traces round. If you want to change to your sport mode, you click it across. This will turn red, and you have a little rocket, and you've got the go kart of the Mini on there as well. Ooh. If you want to flip across to green mode. It all goes green, it tells you low consumption, but driving fun at the same time. Okay. Let's just go back to the main menu on there as well. Everything's controlled by the eye control in the centre here. So we have settings where you can set your sound, you can set your warnings, you can set your setup on here as well. You have your vehicle information, but one of the most important ones on here is Mini Connected. Now what Mini Connected does will connect you to your device, so iPhone, Android, any kind of uh, smart device you connect to your car. With doing so, you can stream videos, you can look at pictures, you can play Facebook on there, so you can upload your status, where are you, I'm inside of my mini, I'm driving through Bonifacio Global City. You can do YouTube videos, you can stream the YouTube videos back onto the screen whilst you're stationary. Uh, you can update your Twitter account. Anything that's on any kind of social media or new media, you can control through this centre here. One of the other things that we have on here also is your telephone. So without even touching anything, if your phone rings or you get a text message, automatically this light will flash to say what it is, whether it's phone or text message. On the centre here you can read all of your text messages. You can have your multimedia playback. So. If you've got music downloaded or you want to put it through a USB or through an iPod, iPad, anything like that, connect it into the USB terminal down the centre there. You can stream everything back through this unit here. And it's all controlled by the steering wheel mounted satellite controls on here as well. So we can set your cruise control for the car or we can talk about how loud or quiet you want the sound space system, speakers, or you can even answer your telephone call. Okay. Through the centre here, you've got fully digitised or digital climate control. And again, as soon as you change anything on the temperature, so I'll make it a little bit cooler or warmer, we go from blue, cold, through to red, hot. And again, that's feedback from the, the car telling us what you're doing. So we can go all the way back down to cold, then we're starting the cold zone. <coughs> Excuse me. Automatic settings, or you can choose where the fan wants to be going to, and again, we'll give you feedback. To say what you're doing and again we can change the temperatures on both sides so it's dual zone through the center some more air conditioning and some safety switches so we can switch off the dynamic stability control or the um, assist for the driver but the nice thing is we now have this beautiful red button that is in the center so when we press that everything goes off or when we want to launch that nuclear attack <laughs> we switch it on <laughs> Okay. <laughs> You're clear at that. One. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the speedometer's in the centre now. What you'll see before on the classic design is this used to be the speedometer around the centre. Now this is in the uh, central location. So everything that is engaged for the driving experience is right in front of you. So you have the sports steering wheel. You have the paddle shift gearbox. You have your cruise control sound system have your speedo, rev counter and all your warning system on here as well. So it'll tell us we have low gas, we have a door open, a window open, whatever it is, all the information is fed back through here. Nice thing there is, when you're driving and you're in go-kart mode or sport mode, you can focus solely on the car, what's in front of you, and the information is getting fed back from the steering wheel as well. All very integrated and designed to be a driver's car but with the luxury and lifestyle items that go with all of the technologies there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. Anything else? For ship? That's good. That's wow. We do have a, a nice little glove compartment there for you. Okay. So intricate little things underneath is also there as well. A lot of new features with the soft touch uh, finishings. Uh, the, the, um, RP top as well, soft touch, all one piece, no joints, same for the airbags, you can't see it, it's all concealed. 
again, it's gone to that luxury step of staying within the niche and the quirkiness that Mini has and has had for the longest time. What did you do earlier with the lights? With the lights? Mm -hmm. Close it up. Okay. So we have our um, mood lighting, as mm -hmm. they call it. And what we can do is we can change this at the flick of a switch right through the colour spectrum. So you can have a rainbow effect. And what we will do, we'll switch it off on that point. And it does change colour automatically for you. So depending on what mood you're in, you can have the disco feel. So we can have a bit of a dance and a boogie mm. with a disco light setting. Or whatever your favourite colour is, you can pick from the colour spectrum and say, okay, my favourite colour is a reddy kind of purpley mauve colour, whatever it's going to be. And it's all on there. It comes into the centre here, comes underneath, comes all the way around the doors. So you control it from here? Yes, that Nice. And again, vanity mirrors with soft, uh, warm oh. light as well. There's another sun visor because we all know we're on C5, Ed, so you always get the sun coming through the side of the car window. Mm. Yeah, this is on there. All of the luxury items that you'll find in some more, very much more expensive cars and bigger cars, you'll already find inside of Mini Plus, you'll find a lot more. Like the LED daylight running lights are standard, the bi-xenon headlights are standard, the LED fog lights are standard. So everything that you see on the car here, we order as standard. You have to pay extra for in other luxury brands. So even the stitched leather steering wheel, John Cooper works. Uh, full 8-inch um, display. It's huge. There's a lot of things on here, you know, the, the, the leather steering, uh, leather gear gator, the gear knob, the iDrive system is in down here now as well. Chrome touches on the, the gear lever, chrome touches around here, all standard. So which one is available for uh, the test drive? Um, this one? This one. Wow. Okay. Uh, we'll have six units as a total, so three Cooper and three Cooper S. The model that we're sat in now is a Cooper mm. S, so this is a sports version if you like. However, there will be one in the future that comes, which will be John Cooper Works, mm -hmm. which is the ultimate sporty. And all of this will be available on the 18th? <coughs> All six. Cooper and Cooper S will be available on the 18th. Mm. All six. Yep. The Cooper and the Cooper S. Correct. Okay. Can't wait. <laughs> I'll uh, be there. <laughs> excellent. Before we see you. Thank you very much. No problem.